during the old Armenian history, all Armenians are proud that they are Armenians, and this is the reason why we're surviving. Armenia was considered as one of the Silicon Valleys of the former Soviet Union. It's a huge culture of technology development. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, we were passing a very problematic period. We have a, a huge brain drain. It was a huge economic problem. So countries were in transition. That was the mood in this region that they are abundant. No help, no support, no infrastructure, temporary houses and shelters line up for bread. Why would they stay here? And so they pack and they leave for bigger cities, for bigger opportunities and migrate to other countries. At the same time, Soviet Union was a superpower in science. Ex-socialist economies are facing the added challenge that they have been under a central planning regime which really distorted incentives and didn't allow people to come up with individual ideas and so, in a sense, they depressed entrepreneurial innovation, individualistic innovation. The capacity not to invent a product for the state, but to take it out to the market and commercialize it. That will increase competitiveness and eventually help develop. During the last 10 or 15 years, we were able not only to grow, but country was showing double-digit figures in the growth. And this growth, just not only in the revenue side, it was a direct impact on the lifestyle. When the multinationals are coming, they are bringing also business culture, working mentality. So from the brain drain, now we are going to the brain gain. The incubation process itself during the last five years became one of the successful models for Armenia. We have two examples, one public-owned, which is an enterprise incubator foundation. We have also a private example, is Vyasfer Technopark. These are only pilots. All concept and idea should be tailored and adopted to your situation. For us, already having experience in business incubation, we highly emphasize the importance of this kind of infrastructures for the economy. In case of Armenia, we as we're Technopark is the first Technopark in, in Armenia established on a commercial basis. So what are the advantages of private incubator? We are very flexible with the companies. We don't follow the written rules or procedures. Even we have uh, companies which are starting just from the idea. We can work with the company for two, three months for free to try to see what, what they can do instead of requesting them to provide their business plan not to show to the board. Being a private incubator, we streamline the processes so we have a freedom to customize our services to tenant and client companies. We are in a, in a very niche market related by high margins, so I have no problem with increasing wages. Mm -hmm. Structured credit data management. We're a risk management company. We have the shortage of staff, of IT staff. I looked at China, I looked at India, and also looked at the former Soviet countries. And then I decided Armenia is the best choice. This is really strategy 101. What are the strengths of Armenia? Before the collapse of the Soviet Union, this was the think tank of the Soviet Union. So you have a lot of academics here that have a good idea about mathematics, good idea about risk, good idea about statistics and method. This is our strength. We have to leverage our strength. You know, and I like you know, this idea of, of, of this place being uh, something special. And after one year, we grew and grew, and so we decided to take the second floor. And why is for I mean, they help us a lot. You need a connection here. You need some, some, some local here, some strategic incubation to start a business here. We are providing consultancy, accounting, legal, any kinds of service which is necessary for a small company to start operation. And currently, Technopark is 95% occupied and more than 700 employees employed in different startups and established tenant companies. We have an electronic lab for different kinds of testing in electronics, in semiconductor, in laser. We are providing also access for our 10 companies to foreign resources. If the company is so successful developing the product, but they need marketing services, they need channels to, to outside markets. This is where our parent company, Piasfer International, is playing a role. This is also an incubator in Silicon Valley, which is linked to many companies. Our diaspora, they are our business fairies. These guys are ready to invest. 
They don't have time. They have their own businesses. Therefore, we have to do our homework. Incubated to me is well-organized channeling of ideas into business concepts that can meet financing. Sometimes it's uh, sufficient for a company to be successful in the local market, but we hope that the companies will be successful also in the foreign markets. We wanted the InfoDev project to be concentrated on implementation of pilot projects involving different companies and together develop a product which is highly competitive and can be commercialized later on into the foreign markets. We are very technical. First project we initiated was manufacturing of solar station for pumping underground water. In a desert, you can just have a like a garden. Alone, it was not possible. So we involved uh, different companies in the technobal. We involved companies which had experience in designing, modeling, and then manufacturing, prototyping different kinds of converters. We wanted the panel tracking the sun, this movement mechanism. The tracking system was expertise of another company. It became a complex product, which was a contribution of several tenant companies we had inside the techno park. Glassberg and private type of incubators might become more advanced because they may attract a higher capital. But I think initially the government has a role to play. Later on, private investment, including venture capital, could take over and we should not compete with them. One of the main goals of the government of Armenia to create an environment where Armenian companies will be competitive, and not only locally, but also globally. So government decided to create the EIF. 80% of Armenian IT companies during the last five years had the chance to use incubator services. First, it's a startups which created with EIF assistance. We have certain share and we are financial participation in these businesses. Incubator is good platform for doing public relations. Incubator organize contacts, conferences where we can be introduced much more easy than if we try to do it by ourselves. Until now, we have success with them in relation with international airport management, border management information system. This is the map of the airport. So here we can see the arrivals and departures. Which arrivals are and departure, planned. planning time and actual time. Government intervention or public intervention here giving an opportunity to go for more risky projects, identifying new potential in your country and opening a new window. The second type of the tenants are big multinational companies who are trying to facilitate their process being in Armenia, to understand the environment, to speak with government, to negotiate with donors and to be a viable member of our community. Now, this region has many advantages that other regions don't have. Quality of research, quality of skills, quality of labor is absolutely essential if we want to foster innovation. The former Soviet republics has been great for national instruments. We want to be closer to the customers. There are an enormous amount of conferences, international conferences, staged here in Armenia. There's a very well-connected, pretty vibrant community of high-tech and IT companies and professionals. So now we decided to create a customer support center in Armenia. Yeah. Yeah. I think we are very comfortable at this point in the incubator. Uh, we just started. We got all the support we needed from the incubator. Can you put this in a step mode? Yes. We are working already together setting up a technology competence center in Armenia to enhance the professional education of engineering in Armenia. The higher the level of IT development of the country, the better we consider our mission being completed. So this is For like private incubators and technoparks, it's still difficult and it's costly to pay so much attention on social sector on education but in this area is there are a major success and major concept of the publicly assisted incubator project the companies which are working in Armenia especially with US partners or European partners they are developing world-class products in Armenia and 
to satisfy the needs of the company, you should have also world-class education. So we decided to create centers of excellence. One of the problems which every startup facing in Armenia is human resources, how to get good developers. It's always high demand for web developers. And that's why together with EIF, we are creating supply uh, enough specialists to the market. You cannot create a company in a vacuum. And it's kind of Silicon Valley effect when you have uh, more companies in one place and you create more value out of the collaboration and networking and exchanging ideas. We already have two installations of our medical software. Before we started, they don't know even how many patients they have per day. And for every specialist, our system provides uh, complete records about the medical history. It's localized to Armenian legislations and it will help hospitals to increase the service level to their patients and they will increase their profitability. We always consider our social impact of, of, of what we are doing, especially in Armenia. We have great disparity of income between the city of Yerevan and the regions. 90% of the business and skill development is concentrated in the capital. So we created the first pilot project center for ICT development in Gyumri. Why Gyumri? Because Gyumri suffered a lot from the earthquake. I am one of the survivors of earthquake. I was at the university and part of the building just collapsed. There was only 20 seconds and just part of your life is gone. Uh, um, your friends are gone and looking at the buildings everything rubble and for 10 years you don't see much change obviously you don't have to believe in that something better or positive will be in this region that was overall the psychological impact to our community <laughs> We give them free education, but they, in return, they have to stay in the region for two years after graduation and uh, help to rebuild the community. The challenge was to also bring IT companies back here so students put their education into practice. The whole idea is that our students will be ready for those companies that are willing to come open branches here. And in 2006, year after the establishment, two companies opened their branches here. Out of 17 graduates, currently 15 are employed. You see, if we have financial support and if there is belief and there is willing of people to put their efforts in this, this will work. This country should become a place for global businesses and investments to feel comfortable. And we have this potential. We have been living in this region, dealing with Russians, Europeans, Arabs, Asians for centuries. And it's time to bring back this strength. We cannot survive in this environment without such a model, incubators and technopark. These are the right instruments for the countries building their future on a technology and their human capacity. We already have five consecutive years, double digit economic growth, and the most important thing today is to keep this pace.